What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. If you're a backplate and wing diver like I am, then you can understand the struggle of how hard it is sometimes to get in and out of the system based off what exposure suit you're wearing or what type of diving you're doing. Now, once you have a backplate and wing adjusted, it's very simple to use, it's very comfortable to use, and there's really not much girth to it as far as getting in your way while you're underwater. However, sometimes doning and off the system can be difficult if you're not in that peak performance shape if you will. Now I'm definitely not what you would consider in shape. I've definitely got a gut on me. However, getting in and out of the backplate and wing is pretty simple for me simply because I have it adjusted appropriately for me and I also don't have any type of medical conditions that would make it a little bit harder for me. And what do I mean by that? Well, when I go to take a backplate wing off, all I do is simply grab on the shoulder strap. Now, I usually grab my D-ring here, and I'm going to simply pull out to loosen it, and I'm going to pop it right off my shoulder. Now, whether my tank is actually sitting, say, on a table or a bench or something, that does make it a little bit easier. Now, another option you've got, of course, is you can do the same method. You can pull out, but instead of pulling it off your shoulder, you're going to simply chicken wing your arm out of it and take it off. Now, putting it back on is fairly simple. You just put your arms in it like you would any standard BCD or you would simply chicken wing it, meaning putting your elbow through and then pulling your arm through. But if you've got a physical defect, maybe you've had sh shoulder surgery, maybe you've had arm surgery, that can be a very difficult if not painful process. So I'm going to show you a couple of different options here of what you can do to your back plate and wing to make doning and doffing a little bit easier and hopefully a little bit more comfortable for you as well. So let's get started. All right, guys, one of the options that you can go with just to make doning and doffing your backplate and wing a little bit easier and making it adjustable on the fly is simply change out your harness. Now, I know there's a lot of guys that like that single piece continuous webbing, but if you have that difficulty of getting your arms in and out or maybe you're not as uh, limber as what I am, it can be difficult and simply by changing out your single piece webbing harness to a deluxe style harness, it'll make your life a little bit easier and a little bit more comfortable while diving a backplate and wing. So what is a deluxe style harness? In short, it's a basic BCD harness, a two piece harness. It does have adjustments here on the side where you can loosen and tighten just like you would a standard BCD. And I know there's going to be a lot of people out there and say, well, the problem is, is you're creating a failure point and the plastic's going to break. Um, I'll be honest with you. Sure, if you took this guy apart and you stepped on it or hit it with a hammer or run over it with a car, yeah, it's going to break. But once you snap it together, the plastics that are being used today, the Delrin plastics that's being used, they are extremely durable. And if you're inside that cave and you brush, just simply brush up against limestone or the current rams you in the limestone, the likelihood of this breaking is so slim to none, I would be comfortable saying it's simply not going to happen. Now, with that being said, there's a lot of different companies out there, a lot of tech companies such as DiveRite and others that are making their backplate and wings and their side mount harnesses with adjustable straps. So the old days of, well, these failure points, these failure points, that is simply not the case anymore. There's a lot of people out there that want to dive the backplate and wing system, but they simply can't with a single piece webbing harness. This is a great option for them. Simply swap out their single piece harness for a two piece harness or a deluxe style harness, making adjustments a little bit easier for them and definitely making their diving a lot more comfortable. So let's take a look at another great option. Let's say that you did want to stay with the single piece webbing harness. Let me show you an option there, a couple different options that you can use to make your harness adjustable and to make it a little bit more comfortable while doning and doffing. All right, guys, so I want to show you a different option here. If you're still the type of diver that has to have that single piece continuous waving, you don't really want the buckles, you still believe that they're failure points, let me show you another great option. You can actually get what's called some belt sliders or webbing sliders here. There's several different companies that make them. This one here is made by Marez, and it's nothing more than just simply a little hook or a little J hook here. And this actually replaces the tri-glide in the back of your BCD or the back of your back plate. And you simply just put it up through the slot, and it allows your webbing to slide through, making the adjustments a little bit easier. There's also several by a company called Subgravity. Now, Subgravity makes several different ones. This is their composite version here. They also make one that is steel as well, and it just simply replaces the tri-glide, and it allows your webbing to flow freely through that instead of actually getting caught. Now, this one is actually made by a friend of mine. He actually 3D printed this one for me, and we're actually doing some tests with it to see how it holds up to a couple of different 
other manufacturers' styles. Now, the last one we'll talk about is the Halcyon version. Now, the Halcyon version is a little bit bigger system, but it's still just designed to make that webbing adjustment a little bit easier. It allows that webbing to slide freely through it. So what does that actually look like? Well, I'm going to tilt the camera down here a little bit just so you guys can see how it works. And in short, with those glides on there, all it does is it allows that webbing to flow freely so that I can adjust or get in and out of the system a little bit easier. And then when I need to tighten, I simply tighten it back down, cinch it to where I need it, and it's gonna be nice and comfortable. Once again, when I go to take it off, I simply pull back on it and it allows that webbing to slide through. Now, a lot of people will ask, well, does it not catch or does it not loosen up uh, when you don't want it to? And no, it really doesn't because as long as I don't reach down to do that to get out of it, if I reach up here and pull on it, nothing's gonna happen because I'm actually putting most of the pressure up here on top. But if I reach down to do it, it'll very easily loosen up and it'll allow me to remove that back plate wing a little bit easier and definitely make my diving a little bit more comfortable. So guys, if you're a back plate wing user out there and you're having difficulty getting in and out and you're not as, uh, say, limber as I am to get your arms in and out, definitely check out a couple of these different models. Maybe change out your harness. If you still don't want to change out your harness because you do like that one-piece waving harness, check into the different slides that are out there. It'll make your diving safer. It'll make you a little bit more comfortable, and it'll definitely make it easier doning and doffing your gear. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. If you got any questions on any of the models that you saw today as far as the sliders, put that down in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us, and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.